Hi, it's uh, Matt Heaton, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about hybrid picking. So, hybrid picking. So, basically, you have the choice, traditionally, of you can play with your fingers. You can play with your fingers, which, which means you have a lot of control over which notes you play and which notes you don't play. Uh, but it's a little, it's not so great for strumming, you know, it's uh, if you're if you're really thwacking away, you're, you're gonna, it's, it's not very comfortable, it doesn't actually sound that nice. Um, or you can use a pick, a plectrum, uh, which a pick gives you, you know, it's, you know, it's great for strumming, it's great for, it gives you a, a nice drive, it gives you a good, um, uh, good, good rhythmic feel. Uh, but the thing that a pick cannot do is play, say, this note and this note at the same time, right? Anytime, any, because anytime you play a chord with a pick, really you're going, you're strumming through. So even if you kind of hear it all as one uh, happening at the same time, it's not really like there's one of something has to happen first, second, third. Uh, so hybrid picking is holding the pick, but using a, one or two, maybe three, I used to, uh, a couple of extra fingers. So you you kind of are able to do, um, get a little bit of both, right? So you can go back to your strumming. So it's a it's a really handy technique to have uh, on deck. So I'll talk a little bit about um, how to build that, and then also a little bit of what you can do with it. Um, so the way that I really got into it, I'm going to try and scooch up here so you can see. Is I actually so I use pick, middle finger, and ring finger. I don't use my pinky because it's too short. So I actually spent a good amount of time doing various arpeggios, such as um, something like this. So I'm just, I'm putting all three of them down there, right? So the, how can it go? Yeah. The two fingers are on the top two strings. And I'm going, I'm kind of adapting this from like a, a classical guitar arpeggio where you're, you would put the fingers down all together, like plant them so they're all on the strings, and then you do the pick, and then the ring finger, and the middle finger. I'm sorry, the mi middle and ring. And then you kind of work on different patterns with that. Like you could do, you know, one, a good one might be so here's the A string, and these two are still on the top two. And then you can make up patterns. What you're trying to do is just get some control in there. Now, the why am I doing that? I'm doing it on open strings just so I don't have to hold a chord down. You could, of course, do, you know. But just kind of make up any sort of exercise that you want to get used to to using those three together. Then you can also um, do stuff where you're uh, doing doing chords, you know, like um, all three at the same time. Well, this is a good one. Yeah, do some do some maybe like blackbird. kind of working on that independence and working on accuracy with these a couple things when you're if you the fingers are necessarily turned 
a little your hand is rotated a little bit more this way than it would be if you were doing a straight finger style kind of approach where you might angle your hand a little um, a little more this way you have to kind of get it off of here I don't really use my nails I have nails um, but I don't really when I'm doing when I'm doing the hybrid picking stuff I'm not really getting nails um, in there it's just on the flesh of the finger and so what do I use it for in, in Irish music? Uh, one, uh, if I'm doing like, um, so Dennis Cahill would be the guy who does a lot of, of hybrid picking. You know, if he, when he does his sort of, um, that sort of feel. Um, that's a really great thing because it allows you to mute the bottom string, right? And then you can play a chord with these. Which is a good, you know, it's a really nice texture. Uh, I, I tend to use it a lot with hornpipes. doing a boom chucky thing and this this particular uh, thing I would be going playing the bass note with the bass note with the pick and then the pick comes up and I play a three note chord with pick and two fingers nice and then for songs of course too like if you're trying to you know do um, uh, I don't know I'm not even thinking of anything in particular but trying to make a nice accompaniment that and you want to combine a little bit of strumming and a little bit of picking it's very good for that so um, and yeah and if lastly like if you really want to if you really want to work on it um, you can kind of do a like a uh, you can use you know a pick and fingers for doing like Travis Merle Travis style you know <laughs> You know, traditionally would be done with a thumb pick, but you can you can kind of fake it with this. When that's a that's a good workout. That is a, a very good workout to get that stuff going. So anyway, um, hope that is helpful. Um, so hybrid picking just means involving you know a the pick and a finger or two. Uh, you don't have to use both. I do. Um, and the step one is just getting getting this independence going. You know, sort of finding an angle for your hand. Uh, mine, let's see, if I, I'm going to stand up here just to show you my hand real close. So I'm really... You know, you want it to be as relaxed as possible. And, you know, if this is my strumming, my picking... See how you can't, I'm not really changing the angle to go from the, the, the just, you know, alternating picking to a hybrid. Um, so you try, yeah, you just try to keep, 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 let the angle of your pick determine where your hand is going to be and then make your fingers work from there. And of course, as with everything, just keep your hand nice and relaxed. You know, anytime, anytime you tense up, you are not doing yourself any favors. Um, so, so that is, that is, um, yeah, that's a little bit of hybrid picking. If you have any questions, please, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to, try to clarify anything um, if I can. And, uh, and good luck. I hope you, hope you enjoy it. Take care. Bye.